It's wonderful to have you on the show. A true bona fide football legend. Um, Luther, you don't normally get sucked into politics or uh, dramatic issues like uh, Black Lives Matter. Of course, it's been a debate the country, the world has been having now for several yeah. weeks. Um, why did you feel strongly enough about this to speak out? Well, it's quite simple. First, first, let's start. I was told that um, somebody just thought it would be a good idea to put my name forward for renaming of these, these roads and these streets in Watford. And John Barnes was mentioned, I think Anthony Joshua's name was mentioned also. This was all done completely without nobody calling me or getting a message to me and says, what do you think, is there something you'd like? Which I think really jumped in the gun on making that sort of announcement. And uh, all that did with me was to think, no, that is definitely something I would not want, especially when it comes to things from history. Because if you remove those streets and rename them, that's like wallpapering over history. It didn't happen, whatever. It, and that's not right. It, it's history is about education, it's about learning. And if we have no idea what happened in our history, how can we move forward as people? Indeed. And ultimately, examples of our history provoke conversation and debate. And let's say that you're walking, uh, by the way, Watford, what a, what a lovely town. I've enjoyed uh, many, uh, many uh, a trip to Watford as a, a comedian doing gigs in the evening. And it's a, it's a fun, friendly place, of course, with a great iconic football club. And if you're walking along with a, the youngster who says, why is that place called Colonial Way? You can then explain and have a conversation about it. You can. That's absolutely something that we've, um, you know, that has really struck me. If you see a statue, because that has been a major talking point of things, you know, you think, what, what is it? Who is that person? What do they represent? Why are they there? That sort of thing. And, and as you say, you can have a discussion about it. And if you don't know, you get home and look in a book, whereas now you can look in your smartphone and find out what it's all about. And I think to remove it, what would anybody have to talk about? You know, they see my name there, they see somebody else's name there. You know, they know my name or whatever because they're from Watford. But to see Colonial Way and all that, they need to find out what that is all about, why it's there. And would you would you take, um, and Luther, by the way, I'd much rather be talking to you about Watford's chances of staying up this season. We'll come to that. But um, do you think that it's a similar argument for statues of slave owners or could that be a different category, do you think? No, I think it's all the same thing, exactly the same thing. I mean, you, um, Cecil Rhodes, because this is the Oxford, um, he obviously gave a lot of money for scholarships at, um, at Oxford. And I, having heard all the talk about it, I thought I will try and find out a little bit more about this. And I'm actually quite stunned at why he's put the scholarship up. And then you have the links with Nelson Mandela also. And if I hadn't thought I'd go and look that up, I wouldn't know all those little details about it. And I think that's quite important because Nelson Mandela and, um, and Cecil Rhodes, they, you know, they, especially um, Nelson Mandela, saw similarities between what he accomplished and what Nelson Mandela himself accomplished because they were all after empowering people to make people better in education and that sort of thing. So where would we be if we just totally dismissed all of that? Oh, I think we've lost you. Well, well, no, Luther, Luther, I think it's very, very valuable what you say. And we think as an accomplished sportsman and a man from a BM, BAME background, uh, born, no, 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 born no, in no, Jamaica. No, Go on. BAME, that really does my head in that one. No, I'm I interested. That, tell me, tell me why. And apologies if any offence is caused. Tell me why that's no, no, it's wrong. Not, it's so much an offence. But, you know, this acronym now of changing everything and putting it, I, I find it, I, I find it an awful thing to do. It is what it, if it is. If, if you're black, say the word black and say because it's important for people to do that because, you know, the N word, I can understand why people get upset by hearing it, but sometimes it needs to be said so that people understand how awful it is to be called that on a regular basis, people shouting at you. And the same with the A word, you know, it's now the A word about autism and that sort of thing. We should say the word because that way young people understand it far better and they can even look it up and find out more about it that way rather than just saying the A word. And, and that's why it annoys me is putting all these acronyms on things rather than using the actual words. Um, Luther, 
not only did I know I would enjoy our chat, but I also knew that I would learn something. And it's been fascinating to speak to you. Um, can I ask you, in a word or two, Watford, are they staying up? <laughs> that is a massive question. I'm so hoping that uh, the worst they'll get today is a point, which keeps things in their hands a little bit. But uh, it would be very difficult if they got beat today. Now, let me tell you that you're a fine figure of a man, uh, of course, an athlete. And uh, behind you is an oil painting of you in your Watford strip in your pomp. Are your legs as muscly now as they were then? They are absolutely nothing like that now. I've got, I've got sparrow's legs now. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. False modesty. Luther, let's speak again. We really, really loved having you on the show. Luther Blissett there, adding to that conversation um, around uh, how we discuss our past. 0344 499 1000 is our number. Join the conversation. This is Talk Radio.